Hello my convicts, yes it's me, aka the Kappa Convict, bringing you guys another video. Yes, you're probably wondering why, why is he right up here? Hello, hello everybody. Well today we're going to do an unboxing, like I said, we was waiting to get this item. We didn't get it until the 24th at 1pm, thanks Amazon. As you can see it's Amazon Prime. And it should have come on the 23rd, but for some weird reason they apparently had system issues and it never got processed and I had to wait and then it was around about the afternoon time and they said, oh, we'll, we'll get it out to you, we'll try and get it out to you at 9 o'clock and we never got it. So uh, eventually we did on the 24th, which uh, on the, and it just so dang annoying when they do that and I've had to wait so long for this device and I wanted to do do it on the day of launch, which this was launched on the 23rd of December, which will probably give you a hint to what is actually in the box. So without further ado guys, let's get it on and let's unbox this sucker. So let's first open this and there we go. Let's just move this out of the way. Just get you out of the way. Chuck you out of the way. And there we go. There we go, oh boys, look at that. The Nakon Revolution Pro Controller. Let me just open this, take this off. I got this, this is my Christmas present, as you can see here. And there we go. The Nakon Pro Revolution Pro Controller. Now I've been dying to try one of these out. Obviously with Scuff, Scuff made a similar one, obviously with the PlayStation in I in in the idea of it all, because they just added extra paddles to the back of the standard PS4 controller. But I, I really wanted to try one of these out, because these were different and more unique. And I, I wanted to see if this would actually change my game. And having four buttons on it as well makes it pretty, pretty interesting, uh, which I'll show you in a moment. And I will also do some gameplay with this as well so you not only get to see the unboxing of this but you get to see some gameplay of it as well so just to show you the back here this is what's on the back i don't know how well you can see that because it's pretty dark shine a little bit now so let's open this bad boy up so this is generally what you get Okay, how do you open this bad boy? Okay, let's take this sticker tags off first. I've been dying to play this with this for all, all yesterday. And I was like, well, I can't do that. I've got to do the unboxing live on YouTube. So I've had to wait to get this. Right, okay. It wants to be awkward, do you? You want to be awkward? Okay, let me just cheat here. There we go. Took that key over there and there we go. So let's open up this bad boy. Oh, well it took a while to get it out. There we go. So that's what we first see. Oh, knocking my PlayStation controller behind me. And that's what we get. This is how it looks when we first get it. Which is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I, I do like this. I will probably keep the box. I'm a... I'm a I have a thing about keeping boxes, keeping them nice, clean, and pristine, so that when I want to put stuff away, or I'm taking it somewhere else, that obviously it stays in its pristine box and keeps it clean at all times. And then eventually I get bored of doing that and I just leave it any old hour. So uh, it only lasts for a couple of months and then I end up just going, oh, it doesn't matter now. And there we go. So when you open it, this is how it looks. You get this nice, car body cushion on top which is pretty cool it says revolution pro control obviously on there as you can see so let's take this off and there we go and there it is how cool is that and just lift this out so there you go guys the pro revolution Nakon pro controller and that is nice it does feel nice the one thing I, I do like is that the thumb sticks if you can see i don't know if you can see that these are actually metal so they won't actually you won't get a dust issue that you would get with the other controllers because they're metal i don't know i did, didn't just make all of them metal that would have been so much easier and there you go there's the top 
nice feeling buttons on the back and on the on the front here that's going to be kind of weird i kept pressing the front there and obviously it's not it's there so that'll take a little bit of getting used to i like how they are bigger they are bigger and longer so it kind of gives you more space for you to press and they're nice and clicky and the buttons are really responsive the thumbsticks feel quite nice and it's an eight-way d-pad so if you use this these are eight-way so that's pretty cool so let's have a look what else is in this box so if i now take out the back of this there we go so the first thing you can see there is a Nacon and that is the, the instructions and there's also some stickers in there as well at the back which I'll show you. If we can get it open. Oh, it doesn't matter. There's some stickers in the back but I'm not going to open it because it's, it's going to make the video too long. And also what you get in here, you get this little tension cable that fits on top. So that'll go on top of there. And it's just to make sure that the cable, all the tension's taken off the cable. So it's not going to cause any issues with the cable doing anything on there. So, uh, so it won't snap or anything like that. And then you also get, if I can open it, Thank you. This really cool bag for your control to go in with the Nacon logo on. And not only that, you get this nice little cleaning cloth as well. So if you want to clean, and it says Nacon Pro Control on the front. That's very, very cool. And last but not least, in here. Oh, something's dropping out there and there's something else in there. Okay. So there's the cable that you get with the controller, which is nice and braided. So make it stronger. And then the little connector that sticks to the top. And then the last but not least in here, an interesting idea is these. As you can see, the weights, these are weights and you can actually put them inside your controller and this will fit into the front and that basically will take out of the pad at the bottom and you can add weight to your controller. So if you want to be able to do that, you can, which I'll just demonstrate for you. So at the bottom here, there's a little groove here and you just put it in and then you twist. Have I not twisted it enough? Okay. It is a little bit fiddly by the look of it. And there we go. So these come out and then you can put the weights inside of here and then just put that back into the controller. Like that. And then just put the key back in and twist until it's fully closed. Little uh, white mark there. Oh, oh no, that's supposed to be there. There's a little white mark there. I don't know if you can see it. A little white mark. Can you see it? Yeah, you can just about make it out there uh, on there. There's a little white mark there. I <laughs> thought it was a bit of dirt, so I've tried to wipe it off. But it's not, it's actually part of the pad. And one of the biggest features, obviously, is these on the back here. These are the buttons, the extra buttons. So you've got two buttons here. And then you've got two buttons at the back as well. So you can add, so you can press that one 
or that one. So you can have up to four different functions by clicking that or clicking that. And then we have these on the back as well. There's mode and there's profile. And basically mode just switches across and you can choose different modes. And profile here, you can actually add your own profiles and you can add so many profiles on there. I believe you can also download profiles onto this as well. And that will help with you gaming. So you could either choose like jumping and being able to melee, stuff like that. Everything you would want in a Call of Duty game to be able to play with one of these, which is really, really cool, which is what this has got in mind. So there you go, guys. That's the Nacon Pro Controller. I will be doing some gameplays of this as well. I'll upload another video of me playing with this as well today. I just wanted to show you this as my new Christmas gift. Pretty cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, guys, anyway. I just wanted to quickly show you this. So there you go, the Pro Controller. Is it any good? Well, we'll soon find out. I'll let you know as soon as I've actually used this. I'll do some gameplay on Black Ops 3 and Infinity Wards IW as well. Infinity Warfare. Well, this is your boy Kepper. I'm signing out, guys, and as always, I salute you. See you.